Hi everyone, it's Gary Nicholson here for the Mountain Weather Information Service. This is your planning outlook video on Tuesday the 5th of March. And the mountains are getting back into winter mode, a real contrast compared to the end of February. A generally cold air mass that will prevail over the next week to 10 days at least, with some significant snowfalls at times, particularly in Scotland, but also on the hills of England and Wales as well. Some very cold air is moving in off the North Atlantic. Winds will be up to gale force on some days, a generally unsettled pattern looks like it's with us for a good while. So quite a bit to get through. Let's start with a look at temperatures. Now these are temperature anomalies, this over one day at a time basically. And just looking at the source of our current cold air, and it has its origins effectively around Arctic Canada. Uh, very cold weather has swept its way across North America in recent days. And it's essentially that that's moving in our direction across the North Atlantic, becoming modified, drawing in some air from Greenland. It fires up the jet stream, which uh, generates the strong westerly flow and essentially that uh, bubble of cold air is what will drift across our part of the world onwards over this next week or so. These are the 850 millibar temperatures. Now that's between around 1100 and 1300 metres or so over this next week ahead. So easily representative of the Scottish Highlands. This is for Wednesday and a low pressure system is across the country. Mild air is across England and Wales. But a boundary between that mild air and cold air across the Highlands is where a front lies. And that's what's going to generate the snow for Wednesday across a good part of the Highlands. We'll come to that in a moment. Let's just run on for the temperatures for the next few days. As that low uh, moves its way eastwards it drags down a north northwesterly much colder air sweeps southwards through thursday and uh, temporarily into friday as well which will put freezing levels down uh, to the lower slopes uh, across uh, the country through into thursday friday there there will be some lift as we go onwards into the weekend as fronts come in from the Atlantic. The very coldest air pushed away briefly. I suspect the Scottish mountains stay broadly uh, sub-zero though through this time. And that uh, westerly pattern will continue onwards through the weekend and on into next week. And just uh, for a few days, much colder air comes in off the North Atlantic originating around Greenland. And that sweeps all the way across uh, the northern half of Britain. So there could be a good few days of some significantly cold air with temperatures on the highest tops, minus five or below in Scotland and uh, close to freezing then from low levels upwards. If you take this on over a few days, you'll see how that cold air stays in place. This takes you onwards into the middle of the week. And basically, it's either a west by northwesterly flow that prevails, a wintry pattern then onwards, heading even towards the middle of the month there. Now, this is snow depth, according to one of the models, at six hour intervals. So you'll see how the accumulations start to develop. This is through Wednesday across the Scottish Highlands. It's the central east and the southern portions of the Highlands, eventually edging a bit further northwards that see the lying snow across the mountains. Now, not too much more comes in through Thursday, Friday, but a few areas of showers will fall. Nevertheless, snow and hail in those. The next uh, watch for main accumulations are heading into the weekend and the focus a bit more on the west and northwest highlands as the fronts by that point are coming more directly in off the Atlantic. Could be some more significant falls in places, chiefly against Scotland, maybe more temporary with freeze and thaw cycles for England and Wales. But as the much colder air does sweep in, as we just mentioned, through the weekend into early next week, you'll see our accumulations are starting to appear further south onto the Pennines, the Lake District, and maybe even further the south than that as we go onwards into Monday, Tuesday. At the west and northwest highlands really getting a plastering there from fronts off the Atlantic. Treated a bit carefully but it really does indicate a sustained wintry spell on the mountains well on in to next week. So better late than never, you might say. It's taken a long time to get there during this winter. We've almost had spring and now taken a backward step, but that's often the case in our weather patterns. They can be very, very variable. Let's skim through the charts for these next few days. Then here's Wednesday. This is tomorrow. We've got the front edging northwards. That giving a sustained fall across the highlands. It may turn a bit more to sleet and rain at the lower levels around the central lowlands as the front just begins to edge northwards and relatively milder air pushes north. Heavy showers with hail and thunder will affect England and Wales. Now that low will have moved into the North Sea by Thursday. A front pulls southwards. It'll be uh, various organised zones of troughs of showers with some hail, some thunder, some snow over the hills, increasingly to low levels, particularly across Scotland, as much colder air gets drawn down on a strong to gale force at northerly wind. In places for the far north and across the northern Cairngorms, that snow could be frequent or even constant over a good few hours. 
Now a hard frost will occur overnight into Friday as a ridge of high pressure moves through, some very low temperatures developing in many of the valleys and the glens then, particularly in Scotland. The next fronts are edging in from the Atlantic. It may take until the end of the day before this happens, so some risk of snow developing on western fringes, some rain on lower slopes perhaps uh, by the end of Friday. Just watch your details. It could be that Friday for many sees a dry day, uh, but a few complications around western Scotland in particular just as these fronts do begin to approach. Bit of a tangle then heading into the weekend. I won't go any further ahead than this on these charts. Basically it's fronts coming from the west but without really any mild air within it. It's getting squeezed away to the south as those fronts become occluded. So it maintains the chilly conditions and there may well be the risk of some further snow. And notice the close proximity of the isobars, the risk of gales on some of the mountains. Watch your detail. A lot could just change before we get to this point. So this is the chart as we go uh, through the weekend, then those uh, cold westerlies in charge. There may be a lift of freezing level for a time then England and Wales, but I think Scotland stays under the colder air, maybe just lifting a degree or so for a time. The very cold air though over the North Atlantic is likely to come in as we go through more into Sunday and particularly Monday and it maintains uh, a cold pattern over several days then with further showers, maybe some more organised snow and that falling and lying perhaps to lower slopes, uh, maybe a bit of thawing at uh, coastal fringes but I suspect a good few days of wintry weather across many mountains onwards into next week. Low pressure in charge, staying unsettled, staying showery, the risk of gales in places but winds could vary and accumulations of snow down to lower slopes. So that's onwards really into the middle of next week. There may be eventually a lift as pressure starts to build a touch from the west and less cold westerlies eventually develop, but that process might take a little while. Just to finish with then, that's the average pressure situation for the week as a whole through the middle of March to the 18th. And it maintains generally lower than average pressures around and to the north, northwest of the British Isles, with the general source of the air coming in from northern Canada and to the west of Greenland. So a chilly westerly is the order of things for a little while ahead. So we can forget about spring for a little while. The mountain's very much in winter mode. Be prepared for some severe conditions then at times. Stay right up to date with your latest forecast updated daily on our website. And we'll have the latest video for you online on Friday. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.